on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. We are going to look where the markets are at. We're going to follow up on yesterday's video regarding the new market on GDAX, where Bitcoin is trading against Bitcoin Cash. And I'm going to respond to a popular question, which is, when is the Bitcoin Lightning Network going to launch? So all of that on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. So stay right there. Hi there guys, welcome to the latest episode of the Cryptoverse, your regular dose of news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I'm your host, Chris Coney. So where are the markets at exactly? Well, looking at the overall market capitalization of the whole Cryptoverse here, we hit a bottom of 417 billion yesterday at about 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon universal coordinated time. And we've now recovered to about 548 billion. So let's see what that looks like on the Bitcoin chart. This is what it looks like. Let's do the full screen thing so you can see it a bit better. Now, anyone who says that technical analysis isn't useful is just wrong. Right? It's not perfect because it's not an exact science, but neither is it useless. Now you can look back at my previous videos and see these Fibonacci retracement lines were there long before this market crash. And now we see how the intersection of $11,000, if I put my crosshair right on it, intersects with the 61% Fibonacci line, which provided support. You see on these three most recent candles, how all the bodies are above it and the tails are below it. That's providing some decent support right there. Now, the fact that these two candles for well, today and yesterday, they have small bodies right now, and that indicates indecision in the market. It means there's caution on both sides. Now, out of all the positions that I've taken over the last 48 hours in cryptocurrencies, my Litecoin position has actually performed the best. So let me just change the chart over to Litecoin here. So this is Litecoin against the US dollar. Litecoin dipped here below $45 and it's now above $180. It's actually $190 as I speak to you right now. Now that means it's added around 30% since it hit bottom. And Bitcoin added around 17% since it hit bottom. Now, I was telling my patrons about this yesterday, actually, as it was happening. But Bitcoin is actually my worst performing position in this most recent crash. Right, Litecoin is my number one best performing position. Uh, Dash is my second best performing position. And Ethereum is my third best performing position. All three of which are now in profit. And Bitcoin, believe it or not, I'm just checking my numbers here, that remains in a slight loss position which is incredibly interesting to me. So let me just flip back to Bitcoin. So I did the scaling in thing that I talked about the other day. And um, while this tail, I was buying it at various levels down this tail and it's averaged out, you know, the loss from say the first position and so on, but it's still at a slightly, a slight loss right at this moment in time. But I'm happy with that because it's still going to come back. Um, it doesn't need much price movement for the overall position to break even, right? Now on the face of it, it looks like, I say it looks like the crash is over. However, that doesn't mean much since our eyes didn't tell us the crash was coming in the first place, did they? So the market could decide at any moment to just take another dive. Those are just the risks, I guess, with um, comes with the territory. So when you invest, be prepared to lose all of it in an instant, which I'm sure some people did yesterday. And speaking of yesterday, let me do a quick follow up on yesterday's video. So based on what I read in the comments, there seems to be a major flaw in some logic here. If you take a look down here at those 58 dislikes, that's a lot relative to how many I normally get. And I think I know why that is, is because I talked about Bitcoin cash news. Right, the news was that GDAX, 
the exchange arm of the Coinbase exchange, were about to launch their new market, allowing people to trade directly in between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Now, the people getting upset in the comments, they were clearly Bitcoin Cash haters. What's illogical is why they were upset at the news. This news means that it makes it easier for people who want to sell off their Bitcoin Cash for Bitcoin can now do so. I mean, how is that a bad thing if you're a Bitcoin Cash hater? Surely the Bitcoin Cash haters want more markets like this. They want more opportunities for people to get rid of their Bitcoin Cash in exchange for Bitcoin. So I just wanted to clear that up. And if you're interested, hopping over to GDAX, the market has now fully opened. And so far, over 2,800 Bitcoin Cash has been traded. And the price relative to Bitcoin is down just over 10%. So right now, a Bitcoin Cash is worth around 15% of a Bitcoin. So you can check that out in the link in the video description. You don't need an account to view the GDAX exchange. It's fully public. So go ahead and check that out for yourself. Now let's move on to talking about the Lightning Network. In a recent episode, I spoke about the most anticipated development that would allow Bitcoin to handle many more transactions than it can today. Right, it's called the Lightning Network, and it's a separate network that will sit on top of Bitcoin. That's why it's referred to as a second layer solution. Now, in that very episode, I shared with you this visualization of the Lightning Network that is provided by Async. That's A-C-I-N-Q. It's a French company who are contributing to the development of the Lightning Network technology. Now, you see here on the screen, if you're watching this on YouTube or DTube, there are actually 872 nodes right now and just over 3,000 channels open. However, as it says in the top left-hand corner of the screen, this is all happening on the Bitcoin test net. So there's no real money changing hands here. And none of this is lifting the burden on the main Bitcoin network. So following on from that episode when I first showed you this, many of you asked me exactly when is the Lightning Network going to launch? In order to answer that, I need to draw a par parallel. Right, bear with me on this one because it'll be clear why I'm taking you down this road. So think about the political debate on abortion. The fundamental point that that whole debate rests on is the question of when is life created? But the reason we need to agree on that is because if an abortion is performed after that point, it's killing a person versus simply like terminating a biological process. So the questions of is life created at the point of conception? Is life created when the baby is actually born? Is it somewhere in between? And if so, where? The goal being to figure out the point at which the baby came to life. Right, the problem we have there is that there is no definitive point. Yes, the biological process begins at conception, but from there, it's a consistent developmental process with no definitive milestones. So allow me to use that framework to explain the Lightning Network and the fact that it isn't going to launch Right? as if it's a product that has a manufacturer that has stocked it up in a warehouse and is ready to ship it out. That would be a formal product launch in the traditional sense. It's not going to be like that. The Lightning Network can be considered to have been conceived when the first two nodes started running on the main Bitcoin network, and that has already happened. And yesterday, Spencer Truman, the CEO of Stampery, he tweeted out this image announcing that there are now 29 lightning nodes running on the Bitcoin mainnet. So that visualization was lightning nodes running on the Bitcoin testnet, and this is lightning nodes running on the Bitcoin mainnet. So this is real money, real Bitcoin being transacted backwards and forwards. So I can actually click on this to zoom in a bit. So not only has the lightning baby been conceived, it has now begun that process of cell duplication and it has 29 of them. So when would you say that the Lightning Network has launched exactly? 
That's like trying to work out when life is created. It's a question you can't really answer. The Lightning Network is live, and it's growing day by day on the Bitcoin mainnet. And over the next, let's just say, nine months for fun, it will continue to develop to the point where it starts cropping up as a pay with Lightning option inside your favorite Bitcoin wallet. So we'll monitor this situation and uh, you'll know when the, Bit the Lightning Network has got to the point where you want it to get when it starts showing up in your favorite Bitcoin wallet. All right, thanks very much for joining me today, guys. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new around here, get subscribed. If you would like access to my very best material, check out my website, cryptoversity.com. Click on courses. It can either take one of these online courses or if you scroll to the bottom, you can come and attend one of my two live workshops that are coming up in February in London. There's an evening talk and then there's a one day crypto investing workshop if you want to learn from me directly in person. Also, follow me on the Steam blockchain. This is a social network on the blockchain. The reason you might want to do that is because if you comment on my content and it's a good comment, then you start getting cryptocurrency tips for it. This person earned 34 cents for this comment. This person 20 cents, 10 cents and so on. The better the comment, the more you'll earn. So check me out, steamit.com forward slash at Marketing Monk. Put your contribution to the discussion and start earning cryptocurrency rewards. Other than that, that's all for today, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with the weekly Cryptoverse live stream. I have a very special little improvement for you, so stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.